Hi, I'm Saul Einbinder with uh, Aspiring Communications. I'm here with Mahir, who's going to help me on this demo today. Uh, and, you know, we've, we've talked a lot about uh, uh, Volti interoperability testing, and w one of the things that I uh, wanted to highlight today was that uh, there's a lot of important things about getting Volti to work really well, and it's really the end user experience at the end of the day that the customer is going to measure us all on. So uh, it's important for developers uh, of, of Volti clients and Volti uh, handsets and Volti gear uh, chipsets and such to be able to do testing early in the lab and find issues uh, before we might find them in the field. So today we've announced the Spire and Elevate test framework which is a, an open test framework that allows people to uh, allows us to separate hardware from software, create a network of test elements, and uh, much more cost effectively share software across those elements. And one of the, the new elements that we've introduced today is the Spirant Wireless Test Station. And the wireless test station is an LTE, LTE device that supports natively multi-device testing. So what we're able to do today is uh, is, is do uh, Volti calls and show you some of the user experience measurements that we're able to provide uh, here in the lab as opposed to out in the field. So under these two beautiful CTIA cloths, uh, we have two pre-release uh, uh, Volti phones, so, uh, so we can't divulge who they're from. Uh, and we have set up a, a Volti call, so there's a live Volti call here. And one of the things that we've done with Spire and Elevate is we focus on the application developer, and we're able to really hide a lot of the lower level complexity and show the protocols that they're working on. So what you see here is, uh, is, is a two device setup, and you'll see color coding. There's, there's the UE1, in, and the messages for UE1, you can see color coded as the blue ones, and the UE2, they're color coded as the green ones. And so, so they are uh, registered onto LTE, and they're doing uh, voice over LTE calls. The calls are anchored onto the IMS core that we're using. It's provided by uh, Radvision um, Pro Lab. Now you can see uh, the signaling and everything that's th that's taking place over here, and. So these are the these are the two devices that are talking to each other, and over here we have we have tried to simulate uh, we, are, we are trying to simulate a real world scenario where we are testing the audio quality measurements, and we we are using uh, the Polka algorithm, and like you can see over here we have the, the UE one and UE two being fed uh, a wave file and they're playing it back. And, and the, the Nomad software, that's one of the Aspirant uh, service experience portfolio products, that's generating a mean opinion score or a MOS score. And it, the MOS score is typically on a scale of one to five. And you, you can see uh, how, how uh, a device is uh, rating against another device. You know? So, so the, the, the point we're trying to highlight here is in a multi-UE multi environment where, where uh, the IMS services are taking the devices to, like uh, uh, after the device connects to the network, it's basically you know a device-to-device -device communication that uh, that that takes place, and there there's a lot of interoperability issues that that you know uh, could happen. So the sooner you uh, address those issues, the better it is for a developer. You know, so so we're trying to uh, move away from the the typical. Uh, testing that uh, a mobile would do for the network, and we're 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 moving into an end-to-end -end, uh, service, end-to-end uh, -end testing platform. You know, where each developer could have one of these boxes, and with with cables, you know, with with, with minimum amount, amount of cabling, and you know, with minimum amount of setup, it's it's really possible to you know simulate multiple UEs talking to each other and. With, uh, with with using Rad Vision as the IMS core right now, we could we could do as much as you know uh, nine or ten UEs talking to each other, and we could do a conference call, and we could do a lot of cool things you know that that weren't previously possible. 
and the uh, wireless test station and the Spirant Elevate test framework is the thing that is enabling it to you know, uh, achieve such uh, testing. Thanks, thanks Mihir, excellent. Thanks. So Spire and Elevate brings together the, the Rad Vision core, which is essential to do real, real modeling. Uh, as Mahir said, multi-point modeling, you can't really extend your way from a script-driven type of, of uh, core to, to get there. And uh, the whole solution allows you to address not just voice quality, but other aspects of user experience testing in the lab. So we can combine this with, uh, with Spirant's uh, uh, battery testing solution, uh, user uh, uh, data throughput testing, and so uh, an application developer can really see the whole impact early on in the cycle and optimize their protocols for the best battery performance, best data performance, uh, way before they, they get into field testing. So that's what the Elevate framework's about and the new Volti RCS test cases.